Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and I am back home from the holiday break. Me and Ryan actually drove from Georgia to Austin in a day. We did it. He definitely did most of the driving, but I'm very excited to be home and I'm proud of us that we did it all in one day because on the way to Georgia, we stopped in NOLA for a night and it was nice to break it up, but like it actually wasn't the most horrible drive ever so i'm glad we got done in one day in two days we go to dallas for new year's eve my college friends are meeting us there and i kind of just want to you know do some like prep for the new year um so i need to find a cleaning lady and i know this is probably like so last minute but i tried to find someone on thumbtack to see if it would be a little bit cheaper than like an actual cleaning company um because i really just like want the bathrooms done so that they can kind of like deep clean the bathroom and then I can kind of clean it on a weekly basis from there. And then I need to brainstorm for just like content ideas and like kind of just like start thinking of all that and clean my computer from like all the documents um, from the last year. There's just like a lot of things that I want to do to prep for the new year. So I thought I would vlog it here. Um, and the first thing we're going to do today is take my car to the shop, which is one of my favorite things to do. Totally being sarcastic. I literally hate anything having to do with like fixing a car, um, but my car does need an oil change. And I thought that was going to be very simple, but Ryan was like, it's at a hundred mile or a hundred thousand miles right now. So I think I have to get like a hundred thousand mile service or something, whatever he was saying. And that probably means it's going to be more money, which sucks. So we're going to take it to the car shop. We usually go to Leonard's garage. I think that's what it's called. It's like somewhere in South Austin. So let's do it. Remember to check out all this content, all these interviews that you're seeing on the end. We're back home from dropping off the car, um, and I'm really, really hoping it's not too expensive. But honestly, who knows? Because I feel like every time I say that, it's like way more expensive than I ever thought it would be. So I will keep you guys updated. <laughs> I just made a big group text with everyone we're going to Dallas with, and um, one of the guys said he wanted to go to a rodeo, and I think it's happening on January 1st. So. Could be interesting i've never been to a rodeo and i feel like that's very like texas so um kind of excited for that but i am currently well before i left to go do the car situation i was like trying to plan out my content or just kind of get like a rough draft of like the first couple of months and like video ideas i want to do i have so many video ideas that i've been putting off and honestly i don't have any more excuses because now i'm self-employed i think i want to start doing week in my life's consistently um let me know if you guys are interested in those i personally love to watch them especially when they come out like a certain day like every monday i would post a week in my life and you would kind of like know it's coming on a monday let me know in the comments would you rather have vlogs all split up like just like a couple days and then a couple days here and a weekend vlog here or just like one week in my life all together and just like a longer vlog let me know i haven't even like taken a look at my uh to-do list just because i feel like it's very daunting i think i'm gonna tackle that in the new year just because i feel like i have a lot of random stuff to get done um before i go to dallas but i did find someone on thumbtack to clean and um i think the estimate is like 120 dollars which I think is a good price. I'm not really sure. I've never had professional cleaning done ever. So I'm very excited because it's definitely needed. Um, but they're gonna come at 3 p.m. today. And I called around like just on random like Google numbers. I searched cleaning services and then like I called the first two and they didn't really have any availability until like the new year. Um, but I kind of knew that I, I'm doing it very last minute. I also was thinking after I get my car back, I wanna go get it detailed before I go to Dallas because we're bringing my car to Dallas and I don't want it to be all gross and stuff. And I wanted to get it detailed literally since September. I've just been pushing it off because I've been traveling so much and I'm like, why get it detailed if I can't really enjoy it, you know? So I think it's time to do it. It's time to get the packages and I'm gonna unbox everything on camera because I have some exciting stuff. I finally got new luggage. I've been using my family's luggage that we got when I was in middle school, I feel like. So it's lasted a really long time. Could not tell you the brand because I don't even know what the brand is, but the new one I got is so cute and I'm really hoping the material's good so it doesn't like scratch and everything because it is white. I just had to, but I'm gonna show you guys. So let's go get the packages.
Any more questions? Okay. Hodinky. <laughs> What'd you get? You sent me this. Um, yeah. Special. Oh box. yeah, John Mayer sent you that. Yeah, he said things so I couldn't make it to the concert. <laughs> um, at least take this watch from me. <laughs> In your dreams, you maybe put, one you day. Put a tech in there. Yeah. Uh, say, a Hodinkee collaboration with John Mayer with like the Rolex style box. That's funny. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's cool color. cream color too. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be white. I thought it was white too. Oh. <laughs> a lot nicer box than I thought. <laughs> yeah, especially for being pretty like affordable for a watch, right? Yeah. I mean, it should have been like fifty dollars, but. Oh. Beautiful. G-Shock. G-Shock. Got myself a new um, flash for my camera because I wanted like a smaller one. So let's see how much smaller this actually is. Hopefully quite a bit. I just like, my flash right now is pretty like more on the cheaper side. And so I thought it was time to invest in a new flash and it's pretty lightweight. I mean, it is a lot smaller than the other one that I have. Um, so very excited about that. And then I also bought a new camera over the holidays. I was a Canon shooter, then I switched over to Sony when I moved here. So I got the a7 III and then that one broke. Well, kind of broke. I don't even know what happened to it, but it just like wasn't working. Like the shutter had some issues. Um, so I had to get a new camera obviously because like all of my jobs use my camera. So I got the um, a7S three i'm pretty sure um and that is what i'm shooting on currently but i just i don't know the photo quality is not as good as the a7 III, and i'm a photographer mainly um i do do a lot of video for myself but i feel like that is just not a priority because i want to like provide like really high quality photos so that is why i decided to go back to my original model because they came out with a sony a7 IV so that is going to just be like an upgraded of like the first model of the sony camera i got i don't know if this is all making sense but i'm very excited but it has not shipped yet because i think they were like supposed to release them on december 23rd but i think i pre-ordered mine pretty late so i'm probably like you know in the back of everyone else's orders it's fine because i don't have that many shoots scheduled for like january probably like more mid-january so hopefully it gets here in time for that all right next up we have an amazon package first up i got this really cool like leather jacket and this is what it looks like it comes in seriously a billion different colors like so many random shades of nude uh but i chose this kind of like browner nude so i'm very excited to style it i'm pretty sure i got it in a size large which is perfect for an oversized look and then next up i got some like palazzo pants i do feel like they look a little bit more like orange yellow rather than like a nude so i'm gonna try them on see if i could like style them and if not i'll just have to make a return Ooh, okay these are some really cool leggings but i guess like flared leggings yoga pants but these have a slit like at the bottom and i've seen a couple tiktoks and they look so flattering on and i really like like a yoga flared legging kind of thing so i'm very excited to try these on this one says it's fragile oh my candle thingy got here this is kind of a splurge but when i saw it i had to get it because this is like what do they call it let's see Okay, it's an automatic lid that extinguishes candles. So basically you put your candle in this thing and you set a timer and then it just closes. And I love to fall asleep to a wood wick candle, the ones that like kind of crackle. And I thought this would be perfect. Um, so let's open it up because I didn't get a black one. I got, I'm pretty sure a white colored one. So this is what it looks like. And I guess you have to like plug it in and set a timer. And then when the timer's done, it closes on its own and the candle goes out. And I think this is just like the smartest invention ever because I feel like I'm always wanting like the vibe of a candle, but I'm feeling sleepy and I'm just like, what if I fall asleep and the candle is not burnt out? So this definitely solves a lot of my problems. Everything in this unboxing haul, I will link down below in case you guys are interested in getting it yourself. Another package from Amazon, I got some new sunnies. This is definitely one of my favorite brands on Amazon to buy from for sunglasses. I've had so many they last a while and they are very affordable so here are the new things you think they're weird they're cool. 
very 90s vibes. Up. We think our AC is broken, so. Did you put the whole in? Yeah, I just put it in. I submitted a service request. And usually the maintenance people at our apartment are pretty good. Like they come yeah, like the day. Faster. Yeah, and like our last apartment was like so good. They would like literally show up the second we put it in. Um, Okay, so got sunglasses. I got this satiny skirt. I thought it was so cute. I need to figure out what I'm gonna style it with, but I think I'm gonna bring it to Dallas because I feel like it's like bougie, kind of just like dressed up a little bit. I honestly just needed a turtleneck. So it's a turtleneck bodysuit, just like a white basic one. The quality on that felt really good and I need to buy a black one. We got a package from Olive and June, more of their instant press on manis. And I actually bought like five on their black friday sale and i haven't done them yet because they like literally came the day i got my nails done and i still have them on i think i'm gonna just gonna wait till the new year to put them on because like these are growing out a little bit but i feel like they're fine for new year's eve they sent this white color and then like a pinky color these are like so good they literally lasted me more than two weeks and they sent some little target cookies which is so cute because you can actually buy these at target definitely recommend these press-ons i think they're like 10 bucks around that range it's time to open up my new luggage i'm so freaking excited to see what it looks like in person i was trying to look up some like youtube videos but there wasn't that much on it i honestly never heard of this brand before i was like searching for suitcases on black friday so hopefully it is good it looks so bougie They look so bougie with this covering on them, but let's actually unbox them. I decided to make a TikTok of me unwrapping the suitcases, but sneak peek, this is what they look like. They're so cute. I freaking love this color so much. This is by far the prettiest freaking luggage I've ever owned. Grand reveal, these are my new suitcases. So I got them in a bundle over Black Friday, so I saved a little bit of money, not much, honestly. It was a splurge. I mean, I think in general, suitcases and luggage is, you know, an investment. The brand is called Paraval, and they are actually a sustainable company, which is awesome. And I just am obsessed with this, like, color and then... Obviously it has that. It has like the TSA lock right here. It's just such a stunning piece. I'm so freaking excited. I guess the first place they'll be is Dallas, Texas. I have the two little tags here and I thought I would read them just to go more in depth on like how they're sustainable. It says recycled materials meet high performance details. Recycled polycarbonate shell, lining made from 15 recycled plastic water bottles, three tier recycled aluminum handle, vegan leather trim, recycled zippers. This one says the aviator is 100% carbon neutral from design to delivery we even offset the average emissions of your first trip i honestly think i'm taking this neutral thing a little too far but i'm obsessed with these all right now that i've unboxed luggage there is kind of just like shit everywhere and you know how like when you were little and your mom dad told you to clean up before the cleaners came and you're like why are they telling me to do that like the cleaners you know come to clean but i totally get it so <laughs> that needs to happen within the next 30 minutes i mean they're coming at three it's 1 30 right now but i want that to happen in the next 30 minutes brick shit i was supposed to film like a lot today but the cleaners are going to be here and they're going to be here until sunset so that's not going to happen anymore so okay today here's the plan I need to get like all my ideas written down. I think that's what I need to start with and I need to like kind of like outline some of my sit down videos just because I tried to film a video about me quitting my job. My head was everywhere and I feel like I was just repeating myself so I really wanted to like outline the video in a way that I can like be informative. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do after I clean up all of this trash. The maintenance guy already came and fixed our AC. Thank God. I just put new Pure Essence in. The last one I had was this day. Can you see it there? Day, um, like cactus scent. And then this new home one, which I really liked. I don't even know how to describe that smell. It's a smart home scent diffuser. So it has its own app and everything. And basically you can tell it what intensity you want it at. And I have the canvas one in from Apotheque. And then the Capri Blue one, but it's tinsel and spice. And the holidays are over and I still haven't used all my holiday scents, so I need to use them up. Um, so I thought I would just like put that one in there so you can like press start or you can like 
have this one going. So basically you can have two like scents in there at a time, but obviously you wouldn't have them both on at the same time, you know what I mean? But also it can tell when you're not at home, so it can like stop the smell. I don't know, everything about this thing is so cool. Definitely recommend, I've actually had it for, I wanna say like two years now, and I don't buy scents very often, but when I do, I kind of buy a lot at a time. Um, so then I just like have scents laying around and I can like swish them out however I want to. Okay, so I accidentally fell asleep on the couch while watching vlogs. I was like just trying to take like a midday break and accidentally fell asleep. So that can't happen, especially because I'm like self-employed. Like I just can't be taking naps every day. Like that is not going to be a thing. I really need to figure out like how to get my energy um, other than like caffeine or if I need to be drinking caffeine. I don't really want to be drinking caffeine. I'm not a big coffee person. We actually got Starbucks this morning, but I now get a decaf white ice mocha. So it doesn't even really give me like a caffeine boost. I just kind of like the taste now, but I did recently buy liquid IV. Um, so maybe I can start drinking that if I like feel sleepy. I just feel like I haven't been maybe fueling myself with the best foods lately. I mean, obviously I was just home for the holidays, so I can't really like beat myself down for that. But especially for today, I had a sausage, egg and cheddar for breakfast from Starbucks. So I need to like actually feed myself energizing food. But if I didn't mention already, the cleaning ladies are here. They're doing their thing. So I'm in my office for now um, until I like told me to move. <laughs> um, and I think I'm just gonna knock out this outline for my video. The cleaning girls came at 3.30 and it is almost five and they just left. So it was like an hour and a half. I paid 120 plus tip and my house is so clean and I'm so excited. Mostly excited about my literal shining shower. Like I forgot it could even get this clean because the bottom of the floor is really textured and sometimes I take off my makeup in the shower and then just like our dirty feet, you know, it gets it all dirty, but it's so clean. Obviously it also smells really good. <laughs> so that's nice. I literally don't even know where they found this, but I mean, it's cute like that. It's a scarf, not a bed thing, but it's so cute. I personally don't know how much it usually is to get like an apartment cleaned or like what a deep cleaning it would be. But I know they give you like a discounted price if you like keep doing it with them. So I low key wanna do it like every month and see how much that would be. I think the girl's gonna tell me, but honestly like 120 is still a really good price. I don't know, I feel like it's worth it. I just got done with my thumbnail and I'm publishing a new video about my juicer back there. I'm really excited about it. I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot in the new year. Um, and one of my new year's resolutions is to actually use a lot of my kitchen appliances and not let them just sit there because <laughs> I feel like I invest a lot in kitchen appliances. Like my KitchenAid was like my first one. And then I got a Vitamix and I don't even like drink smoothies that often, but I want to. I think we just got in such a habit of like eating out so much. But another resolution is to see if we can try to like lessen the amount of times we eat out, especially for breakfast. Cause I feel like that's such an easy meal to make. Um, but while the sun is setting, I'm gonna take Sophie on a walk. Cause I feel like she needs it, right? You wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk, Sophie? Let's go, let's go. Also, I'm so sad because usually I try to get her booked for a haircut like when she's like really in need of one. And this time I thought ahead of time, I like literally booked it like maybe two or three weeks ago because they're always booked up too. Her appointment was supposed to be tomorrow. And of course they emailed me literally yesterday saying that it had to be like rescheduled to like January 8th. And I'm like, are you kidding? The one time I think about it ahead of time, this happens, like, cool, okay. So, I think I'm gonna attempt to cut her hair, like, just around her face. I feel like it's just so long near her eyes. And I'm definitely gonna give her a bath before we take her to the dog sitter because we're going to Dallas and our Airbnb is not pet friendly, unfortunately. I took Sophie to, like, the new dog park in my building and she was not a good girl. She was like screaming at the other dogs. Well, not screaming, but like, you know, like kind of thing. But I mean, they were all up in her face. Like <laughs> they were trying to sniff her, but she didn't like that. So that kind of makes me sad. Like I really wish she liked to play with other dogs. I got some more Amazon packages. So I thought I would, 
add them to this vlog. Um, I got this sweater, like super chunky knit sweater kind of thing. On Black Friday, I bought these white boots and I'm just figuring out how to style them. So I thought this would be cute. Just like a big old sweater dress with some white boots. Next thing I got are glass straws. We have like a good amount, but I swear every time I want one, they're always in the dishwasher or the sink. So I was like, might as well just get more. I feel like I need a glass straw whenever I'm drinking from like a normal cup, not my hydro flask. So it comes with a little cleaner thingy and then um, a couple that are bent and a couple that are straight. I feel like glass straws are just so aesthetic and they just make drinking any kind of drink like so much better. I finally bought new bedding and it is not a white duvet. This is a big step for me. I swear ever since like college, I not even college, like literally high school. I had to have just a white plain duvet cover. I thought I would switch it up for the new year, so I ordered this like linen duvet cover on Amazon actually. I also got a new insert and that's not here yet, so I think I'm gonna wait to open this. All right, so this package is the one I'm most excited about because I've never had Ugg slippers. I've had Ugg boots, but look at this. I got not Ugg slippers, but they look like exactly like them. And I don't really care that it doesn't like say Ugg. Look how freaking cute these are. These were $50. And I'm pretty sure like the normal ones are like over a hundred. They are so cute. I was really wanting to buy Ugg ones, but I think these were on like my homepage on Amazon, like suggesting to me. And I'm so glad that they were because I saved some money and they still look exactly like them. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Today I washed my hair, um, put like some treatments in it. My scalp has been feeling a little bit dry, just like not fully dandruff, but I feel like it's could get there if I don't take care of it. Um, so I did like kind of like a tea tree oil treatment. Um, and then this like really deep conditioning treatment from Pantene and I'm telling myself that I need to film my Dyson Airwrap tutorial today I actually had like one filmed but I wanted to like add to it last year when I got it I got it on Black Friday last year. It is actually so worth the money It is like an all-in-one hair tool because you can like curl your hair You can blow dry your hair. You can straighten your hair with like the brush kind of thing so I think I'm gonna film that a little bit later. Honestly, I'm not gonna give myself the option because I feel like that is what I need to do since I'm self-employed. Like I just can't give myself the option anymore because I'm just not gonna do it if I do. And I wanna go live on Amazon later today. I wanted to do like what I got in December and show you guys everything. Obviously this vlog is gonna go up a little bit later. So I will still have the link to that live down below in case you guys wanna watch it. Um, but I also will link down my Amazon storefront where you can find everything that I've been using slash like a lot of good like fashion inspo. I recently made like a New Year's Eve uh, like little category for it so just like a whole bunch of stuff is on my amazon storefront and if you ever have like amazon gift cards especially after christmas definitely go check there if you guys want to treat yourself to anything today is like a full-on pamper day i also need to get my toenails done later because i got these before i went to home yeah home for the holidays i got my nails done and they don't look horrible they are growing out a bit but like i'll just get these done or take these off and put my press on nails on in the new year but like my toes really need to get done um so i'm gonna do that but i was gonna go this morning and just get it over with but honestly i just should go like later when the sun's not out because because as a content creator, I just need all the sunlight I can get. Um, but I'm shaving my face with these little Amazon razors. And they do such a good job of getting all your peach fuzz off. And I love to do this just to make a really good base for my foundation. Um, but I do want to look into getting like a dermaplaning tool. Like an actual like fancy tool. Because I saw it, I want to say on TikTok or somewhere else. But it's like an at-home dermaplaning. And it pretty much does the same thing just on like a higher quality kind of dealio, but I really like to shave my sideburns. Not like all of it off, but just like, you know, kind of take it back a little bit. Whenever I would go with my mom to get my brows threaded when I was little, she would always get her like chin threaded. And I was just like, what the hell? Like, are you hairy down there, you know? But now I have chin hairs and Ryan literally like plucks them because they're that long. And I don't even like realize that I have chin hairs because I don't ever like look down there. 
I guess that's just growing up and growing old. I just filmed my Dyson Airwrap tutorial, looks so good. And now I have literally like 10 minutes to prepare for my Amazon Live. <laughs> I always do this where I'm like rushing to get on Amazon Live, it's so annoying. Why do I do this to myself? I'm so proud of myself. I don't know if I should be though. I don't know if this is like the bare minimum of like my new job, but I feel like whenever I have these like batch content days, it just makes me feel so like fulfilled and just so excited to like put all this content out. But now I need to film some TikToks. It is currently 3.41. Let's see what time the sun sets because I know we already got through our shortest day. Okay, 5.39, it's still, it's still pretty early, but still got some time to film some stuff, so let's get to it. All right, update, it is almost 5 p.m. I literally forgot that my car was in the shop and that we were driving it to Dallas tomorrow. So I called them and they said that they were gonna be done by today, hopefully fingers crossed um and they close at six i just filmed a tiktok like what i got from amazon versus how it turned out and then i like hurried and like put everything away because i was gonna go get my nails taken off and i have gel on my toes dip on my hands and then i realized i don't even have a car and ryan's like golfing right now so yeah hopefully the nail salon is like open after six i think it is but i don't know how long it's gonna take to like do nails because i feel like they usually take long so I don't know if I should actually go to the nail salon or like try to attempt to take it out myself. Or maybe I'll just take them off at the salon and just like do the press-ons. I don't know, a lot of decisions. Also, I forgot that I need to like start the laundry like hours ago so we could pack in time. So very overwhelmed. I don't know why I like make content days like the day before we leave for trips. Like this always happens, I don't know why. I totally forgot I wanted to do a haul with all the stuff I got from Meshki. It's my first time ordering. I'm very interested to see how the quality is because it's not super cheap, but the clothes like looked really, really nice. So, okay, I'm gonna do it on here and I'm gonna film probably a TikTok haul too. I'm trying to beat the light, trying to film this TikTok. Totally forgot to show you guys two of the things I got. So I didn't show this corset. I'm gonna overlay some videos because I took some videos, thank God. And then this brown top and now i'm wearing this bodysuit i am like shook over this quality i mean again it's not cheap but it makes me feel like a bad bitch to be honest like everything is just like making me snatch and i'm just very excited to try on the rest this is just like a t-shirt kind of bodysuit and it feels like it would be a skims bodysuit and then this is just a long sleeve white shirt i feel like i'm gonna be wearing this one a lot all right sneak peek of what i'm wearing for new year's eve also i forgot to show you guys the white long sleeve oh it was like rushing and honestly look the sun's like almost set but here is the top little sequence number and then i'm wearing these like brown like slack pants they're very cute i did get some of the things in mediums which might not have been the best idea. But if you guys are in the market for just like basics, the basics are amazing. So I will have like all of the stuff linked down below. I'll like play the overlay videos and stuff. Ryan picks me up and we're on our way to Leonard's Garage where I'm going to spend a fortune on my damn car. Apparently it needed an oil change, a 100 mile, 100,000 mile tune up. Um, what else did it need? That's all it really needed. Oh, and the tires. Okay, I had to get two new tires. Yeah, I had to get two new tires. So it's definitely going to be a lot more than I thought. I think I said I wanted to spend max 300 Remember that? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I think it would have been less than the oil change. Yeah. I need a full tune up, which I probably didn't need. But I just like have a big yeah. fear of dying in a car just like let's put it that way i uh, like if my tire pops on the side of the road i see tires like just remnants of tires on this highway and it just scares the shit out of me so i'd kind of rather pay just to make sure my car is okay for me to drive and plus we're going to dallas tomorrow so another big road trip just want to make it as safe as possible so i just got done at the nail salon and i went to a new one and this is like not the color I asked for, like at all. I will put a picture of what the color was that I showed them. But this is like, I don't want to be dramatic, but in my eyes, I'm like, this is so pink. I asked for like a white pink, like more white than pink. They did a really good job. Like the execution was there, but the color was not there at all. Even on my feet, it looks so ugly. 
But I did get a pedicure and I usually just get a polish change and I needed a pedicure. I just went to H-E-B and got some sushi so I'm gonna eat that. I have a headache coming on. I have not been hydrating and I also just have been so busy today so I don't think I ate very well either. <laughs> We're doing laundry right now, still gotta pack. Still gotta clean out my car for tomorrow since we're picking up my friends from the Dallas airport. And we're gonna drop Sophie off in the morning. And yeah. Putting my new luggage to use and I'm also bringing this double from Herschel. Oh God, I don't know if this is gonna close. 